What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to color in the etched portion of your castings um, from etched molds. So if you're not familiar with molds with etching, it's basically um, a cutout design within the mold designed to leave an imprint within your casting. So it gives you a lot of depth and creativity to be able to put different designs and stuff in there. Um, these are a few of my molds. Like these ones. These are my cereal killer coaster molds. So see how it leaves the design imprint in there? Um, and if you wanna see how I got the mica on there like that, in my previous tutorial I show how to do that. So you can check that out. So these are out of the molds and um, I want to go ahead and put some color on there. Now there's several different ways you can do it, but today we're going to be doing it with um, paint pens. So this is a newer item that I recently got and I am so happy I tried them out because they are really convenient with the etched molds and getting different colors in there um, and kind of keeping it uh, the mess to a minimum. So I got these on Amazon. I will link them below for you guys. Um, these are non-toxic acrylic paint pens. Um, they are water-based. Now I personally would recommend water-based because if you do oil-based, you're gonna have a hell of a time doing um, a top coat of epoxy on there. You're gonna have to do a sealant of some sort to make sure the epoxy doesn't repel off. Um, and these come with an extra fine tip, which I found real helpful with some of these ones. And this is like the mega pack and it has a ton of colors in there. So I will go ahead and show you how we do that. Move these guys. Now... Here's another example of one I forgot to show you. And this guy I did with a gold paint pen. And all these molds are available on my um, soon to be Etsy shop. Um, if you are watching this in real time uh, within the next few weeks, I'm transitioning all my stuff to Etsy. I'm eliminating all tumblers and manufactured molds, and I'm just going to be selling my handmade molds. Um, so that's really exciting. It's a new venture for me, so I appreciate all you guys for sticking around during um, me kind of just going with the flow and figuring out what works best. So I will um, link the Etsy shop and all that too, and um, if you guys aren't on my Facebook page, you can go ahead and join that to keep up to date on things. Um, the new business is going to be called CJ and Rose Company. Um, that's inspired after my, one of my rescue dogs, CJ, but uh, we'll get into that another day. So, sorry I'm rambling. <laughs> it's been a while and I've got a lot going on and a lot of changes, but um, we're going to go ahead and start coloring this one in. Now these markers, you're gonna um, wanna follow the instructions on how to get them going. They do have to be um, shaken up really well and you have to apply pressure to the tip on a surface for a little while to get the paint moving. I already basically uh, primed this one if that's what you wanna call it. See, so these have a fine tip on there. All right, and so basically, all you're gonna do is start coloring it in. Now, if you need to do a second coat, you can. Um, basically, you would just want to wait for the first coat to dry. But I'm just gonna go through and color it in. Now you will, um, if you get any outside the lines or splattered onto parts you don't want, um, no need to worry, it can uh, be wiped off easily with some rubbing alcohol.
Okay, so I let the first coat dry and then I applied a second coat just to, since I'm putting a light color over a dark base. Um, and then I just have um, some little specks on here that need some cleaning up. Now, since this is acrylic, it can scrape right off. If your mica is burnished into the casting well enough, it, it won't affect it if you just even use your thumbnail or whatever to scrape it. Um, you can also use rubbing alcohol. Sometimes that might smudge it around a little bit, so you have to go over it a couple times. But other than that, I'm just going to go and scrape that. That's oddly satisfying anyways. <laughs> and um, what I'm going to do is make sure this is completely dry. And then I'm going to dome it with a top coat of epoxy. And that's basically just putting a layer over the top to seal in the color and shine it up. And this is just on a regular foam grip. Um, these are actually made to fit on there. So that is how you color it in with the markers. Um, again, I will link the marker sets below where I got that on Amazon. Um, I will also link my new Etsy shop that I'm planning to open within the next week and a half or so and my Facebook group. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.